on today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, mirroring some, but not all, of the video outputs on your Macintosh. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So this particular episode is based on a question I get all the time. I've noticed a lot of people, they'll put in an additional video card, and instead of wanting um, a stage display, they actually want two identical outputs. So the way that I would have done it was with a distribution amplifier, which is, you might call it a splitter, but technically what I'm talking about is something that doesn't merely split the signal, it amplifies it, then splits it so that the output signal is identical. That's the way that I would do it. I think that's the proper way to do it. But let's say that you've got a Mac that already has three outputs and you just don't see why you should buy additional software. Well or hardware rather. Well, it's true, you don't need to. Let me show you this technique that I've discovered just this last week uh, of how you can mirror two of the displays but not the third. It's actually really simple and then I want to show you the implications of it in ProPresenter and we'll go from there. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. Let's say you're in the unique situation where you have three displays out. Um, maybe it's a laptop display or an iMac display and two outputs, external outputs, but um, you don't need all three of them. Well, you do need all three of them. You just need two of them to be the same. So what you probably will do is go into System Preferences, like I am here, click on Displays, and you'll probably think, oh, no problem. I just uh, want to mirror from one of these to the other one and leave this the same. So I bet I just drag that on top. That doesn't seem to work. Okay, new plan. I click mirror displays. I'm sure it'll let me just choose two of those. So maybe I can click there and command. Well, it doesn't seem, I'll just click mirror displays and maybe it'll let me unmirror that maybe that's the solution there so you do that and then all three of them are there and there's no way to undo the one so that doesn't work either let me show you the way that you do it first you unclick mirror displays um, if you have that clicked because you want to mirror two of your three displays but not all three. So what you do is you find one of your displays and you hold down the command, or not the command, the Alt or Option button. They're the same button, it's just they have two labels. So pick the one that works for you. If you're using a Windows keyboard on a Mac, it'll say Alt. If you're using a Mac keyboard, it'll say Alt Option. Or what looks suspiciously like a Hebrew Aleph to me, but that's just me. So alter option and then click on the one and drag it on top of the other. Now once you do that, it should rearrange things and look, two of them are mirrored. It even says mirror display even though this one is not part of the mirroring, just these two are. And that's how you undo it by the way. You'll check that checkbox. So when we go into ProPresenter and we go into Preferences and go to Display, you'll notice that instead of the three displays I normally have when I do these tutorials, I only have two. I've got SD, which I'm not going to use because I need three outputs for that. And from ProPresenter's perspective, I just have two. I have the control screen, which you can notice is the one with the bar at the top. That's typically the, the one. And we have the output. The output uh, is your main out. So basically what I'm doing is 
I'm sending the output to two displays. So when we do this, I will go ahead and shut that down and click output. Oops, for some reason and that is there. Let me show you a quick trick to fix this. You're going to want to bring up Control Center um, first. You're going to need to turn this on. And now, this usually happens when you change the display settings with ProPresenter Live too many times. Just uh, not so much. Doesn't like that. So now we can go to Launchpad here and um, drag this where we want it to be, which is off over to desktop 3. Okay. Actually, might want it on desktop 2. Yeah, I do. Yeah, desktop 2. That's where I want that. So, now I can click back here. And when I turn it on, which it is on, I should see this in both places. Um, actually, I just made a mistake there. I'm having one of those days. As I'm recording this, this is the Monday after we switch to daylight savings time, so that would be why. I actually want that. Um, so let's click on this one. Yep. And let's put it on desktop three as I had it initially. Okay. Now it should be on all three screens. So that is um, a good way to do that. And you might be wondering, well, why wouldn't I just use a distribution amplifier? First answer is you don't have one. Second answer is maybe you only sometimes want this to be the case. So maybe you're in a situation where some weeks the pastor and the worship team need an exact duplicate of the main out and you've got you've still got ProPresenter 5. So this would be a good trick to use in that situation. It could also be the case that one of your outputs needs to be DVI, for example, and the other one needs to be HDMI. While those are technically the same kind of file format, well, DVI can go to HDMI, not necessarily the opposite direction. The cabling just doesn't work in your situation. That's another reason. Uh, in my case, I don't have an HDMI monitor here at my desk, and I was doing a webinar, and the presentation software that I was using just um, I couldn't see it in both places and I really needed to. So this would have been a good trick for that. So those are some of the different reasons that you would do this trick and um, th that would solve this particular problem for you if you're in a situation where you need to send the main output to multiple displays that are connected directly to your computer. You see how simple that was? Really, I don't even know if it was worth making a video about, but I know that there are some people that have this problem and now you're going, thank you, Paul. I just couldn't figure it out. Well, I couldn't figure it out either until I Googled it. So that's the way it works. But I'm glad that I was able to help you. If you like this content, head over to my blog, trinitydigitalmedia.com, and there you can find uh, this show. Leave a comment, question, etc. underneath it. Give me some reaction, thumbs up. Tell me ways I need to improve, etc. Whatever you want to do, just leave me a, some sort of reaction there. Uh, subscribe to my email newsletter. 
head to the store there and pick up some of the church tech training resources I've made with you in mind. Whatever you want to do, that's the place to do it. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.